Lex Liu, and welcome back to another episode of What Remains of Edith Finch. We're here with episode number three, and we're just going down the line, trying to kind of investigate about all of her family members, and apparently there's some sort of curse on the Finch family, so we're trying to figure out what's happening. If you have not watched the previous episodes, make sure to do so, because this probably won't make any sense to you if you don't. So, let's go ahead and continue. So, we just learned about Barbara. So, she was a childhood actress that unfortunately met her demise by some hookman or something, but I, I feel like it was probably Rick. It seems that way. But we don't really I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. I mean, yeah, that would be, that's kind of, kind of gross, kind of gross nasty. But at the same time, it holds the key. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Well, we started it. A little bit ago. Okay, so this is... Finn and Evie's room, and then there was Sam and Calvin. So, Finn and Evie had two sons named Calvin and Sam, because that was her her grandfather, she said Grandpa Sam. So, her great-grandmother is Evie. So, that makes sense in my brain. So, Barbara was also Edie's kid, Barbara and Walter. I just don't know where that comes in because it says Finn, her dad's Finn, hurt his hand, so I'm guessing all of them were siblings. Oh, this is, you know, knowing the backstory now, this is kind of creepy touching this. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. It's like a laundry room type of thing. It'd be a pain in the butt to have to do laundry and do that every time. Okay, this is Finn's. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. tetanus shot every 10 years and it's supposed to prevent you from rusty stuff Get your back's right Edie. i saw Edie sneak down to the basement once carrying packages packages what i thought maybe she was hiding presents maybe. it turned out she was hiding a lot more than that Oh, okay. It said that Rick was hiding in the fridge. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Okay, so Walter always lived in the house. Oh wow, he lived a while, okay. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. Oh my gosh, open the dang can. Okay. What is that? 
I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you'll be used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Tired of eating peaches on this day. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. It's out there somewhere. What's out there? Whatever killed Barbara oh, and Molly oh, the curse. and Calvin. Scared. Maybe this face. is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for okay. it. Okay, all right. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Yeah, I need to quit eating peaches out of a can. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. There I'd be go. happy with one year again. There you go. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Kidding? Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Okay, so the moment he steps outside, he gets hit by a train? I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Yeah, I guess so. A pretend window. Can I go in there? There we go. Well, I mean, this family seems to kind of have a curse. But on if him, she never so told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Okay. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Okay, this is like the trash pit. Okay, so this is where he broke out. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <laughs> now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. Maybe two? I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Who's who? And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. So pretty, though. 
I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Oh, it's too interesting of a story. But I thought you should know about your family. Yeah. It's like all these figures. And the history you're a part of. Yes. Carry it on. This is so cool. This was so well made. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Yeah, it's very confusing. Very confusing. I like how everything. I narrated. think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. in the place that's first not And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Yeah, that's kind of an interesting concept. <laughs> okay, so apparently we're going to the cemetery and then we'll kind of learn some more about the family members It's here. embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Oh no. <laughs> All of Edie's birds are here. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, it's all the way over there? Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. That's kind of interesting. Is that where it's sank? So it sank there, and then they just kind of went ashore, and this was their home after that? Is that what happened? And they said that they took the bricks from the old house and put them in here to make the fireplace, which is a very interesting Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Her mom. Her dad was Sam, I'm guessing, because she said Grandpa Sam. So that was Dawn's father. And she had two brothers, Gregory and Gus. Miss that. Miss the dogs on the side there in the pet cemetery. Okay. I'm starting to kind of make sense of everything. There's just a lot of people. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. 
We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Yeah, kind of like a self-discovery thing. You know, you gotta be, I guess, prepared mentally for this kind of thing. So having it at your own pace, I guess, it would make sense. But at the same time, it'd be a lot, it would be very overwhelming to discover everything. But looking back on it now, If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh, it's my baby. That makes me nervous now, knowing that. Because there's a curse apparently around the place. We don't need that. Yeah, I guess. I never met Grandpa now. Sam, but. I think he and my mom had a lot in common. We don't know what happened to Sam either. They were both pretty intense. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Once he turned 18. Oh, we got some pics. Oh, we got a selfie. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm. Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Not quite. What? Perfect. Aww. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hmm. Oh. Definitely that. should not have drunk all that coffee. <laughs> we'll take a picture. You're right. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Dad. Good eyes, Perfect. Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Great shot, Don! Oh, that's not what I want. That's morbid. No, I don't like it! No, 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 no. <laughs> Same, girl. What? I'm proud of you, Dawn. <laughs> Always remember that, okay?
<laughs> Dad, it, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. Oh! Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Oh my, that was, that was an emotional trip. <laughs> okay, so in my brain I was also thinking, I was like, if her grandfather was Sam, then who was the grandma? And I guess it's Kay, because she said that when we were in the bathroom, that Sam's first yeah sam's first wife Kay, did renovations to the house so i guess they got a divorce i don't know what happened to Kay, and i guess we just won't really do it since she wasn't part of the family i guess oh look at that picture we got all of his different i guess you instead of hiding from death Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Yeah, he was in the... was in the Marines? Is that what he was? Yeah, the Marines. He was in the Marines. He also was a hunter. And... Is it? That's kind of creepy. Yeah, okay. This is her box of stuff. He was packing it up, I guess. The I don't know, I guess that was, who's her mom, or Don's mom, I guess it was Kay. I can't get out there. This is just kind of like a puzzle trying to figure out <laughs> who's who in this situation, I guess. Ooh, meal ready to eat, we got an MREs up here. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Aww. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. sweetie. Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. This is really weird. I wonder what he saw. Apparently, he bought the thing. Some sort of sorcery. <laughs> Day. 
We're having a full, I wouldn't say orchestra. What am I looking for? Like synchronized swimming? What does this have to do with this story? Oh, we gotta be up there. Silly it sounds. But I worried about a baby being too happy. But I can feel him slipping away. Sorry about that, Gregory. Sorry I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. I don't want Gregory to hear this. Okay. Okay. I don't like where this is going. I wish he could have told us about the world he saw. There's so much I don't understand. Everything. This is so sad. Why is there so happy? What happened anything? wasn't your fault. Well, I mean, you don't leave a kid unsupervised and close the door so you can't even see. Take the baby sure out first. Right. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Oh, that was really sad. <laughs> I hate to leave this episode on a Kind of a dark note, but you know, that was really sad. Okay, well, I'm gonna end off this episode here. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to leave a like and also comment and tell me how you like it, what you think about it, and also subscribe if you're not already. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>